Hi, everybody. I have such a fun interview today. I've got the new mom and son duo of Kimberlyn Brown and Tanner Novlin of The Bold and the Beautiful. Thank you both for taking the time. Uh, I know you're busy taping today, but you had some time for us to talk about all this. So first of all, I have to ask Kimberlyn, uh, you come back to the show, you can see the fan reaction. Everyone's so excited that Sheila is back. Um, when you were introduced to Tanner, mm -hmm. what was your initial reaction to him? And you knew he was going to be your son at that point. Be honest, be honest. I'm going to be very honest. You be honest. How, how honest do you want me to be, Tanner? <laughs> um, you know, our first meeting was actually one that was very thrown together because we didn't have time to run lines or anything. He was so fully booked that entire day that I, I literally met him when he walked on onto our set. And uh, of course, I mean, he walks through that door and I say, I look at that jawline, I look at my jawline and I go, I look at those nice little brown hazel eyes and I look at mine and I say, well, this could definitely be my son. And he is, so I'm, I'm excited. Well, that's been one of our running jokes too. I think we were, it was so fast that I just yeah. said, Hi. Hey, mom. And she goes, hi, son. And so now we just greet each other like that all the time. <laughs> and was it the first scene, I think I understand, when she came out of the shadows? Was that actually the first time you met and did the scene? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We pretty much taped it. We did one rehearsal and then and we so, so it. So it was a very real moment for both of us because we truly had met for the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was organic. It was, it was kind of weird. And Tanner, you knew about the legacy of Sheila Carter, or did you wiki wiki it before she came? Like, how did it? How did you figure out? Like, well, I know the yeah, we know the. Of course, my mom is a huge Bold and Beautiful fan, so I. I you oh, know, that's right. Goes, it's Sheila. Oh, <laughs> wow. and so I thought, oh, I got to do a bit of a deep dive on this, and so <laughs> I, we knew it was going to be impactful, and and that everyone was going to, uh, you know, love having her come back. I mean, Kimberlyn plays one of the most iconic, uh, you know. So that misunderstood, I think, characters. That's, maybe that's, of all I, like, I like to refer to her as that. Just misunderstood. Thank you, sir. Exactly, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> no matter her heinous crimes. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I can't remember any of those, Michael. <laughs> none of them. So do we have to go there? <laughs> In the show, when they, you know, when they try, when they confront Sheila and go, you shot my mother, you did this, you did that. And she's like, well, I was just in a, you know, she tries to explain. I was in a bad place back then. I'm better now. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh -huh. uh, uh. So, Tanner, when your mother, your your real life mother, found out if Sheila was coming back and you were going to play the son, what did she say? Uh, yeah. She was. Yeah, she was. I think like everyone, she said Sheila. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Because <laughs> like, I, I mean, like that everyone knows. I mean. The impact Sheila's had on on the Foresters and, and the Lord, everyone is, is 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 pretty good. It's pretty interesting as we've seen uh, these last few episodes uh, fold out. I think we're going to call your mom a little little bit after this interview, Tanner. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I can't wait to bring her to set. She's you know, like, put one of those leashes on her, like you, you see the kids at, at Disneyland, just to make sure she's. He hasn't been to the far. set. Is no, it? not yet. I'm really excited to bring her, but with the, uh, you know, with the COVID, COVID guy. Everything, you know, yeah. So in the scenes that you guys have had to play together, yeah. was there one of the scenes that was more difficult to pull off because of the either not knowing each other as well or the history of what you're having to play when there was really no history before that we saw on air? You know, you kind of like had to, is it is it more like for Tanner, like playing that you're, you really want to love this mother and know her or no i think i think it was pretty pretty organic because we were finding that out through the characters you know and so i actually didn't want to do too deep of a dive because i wanted to have my own opinions about sheila and what she's bringing finn in in those scenes and that's his perspective and and you know i'm finn, finn has warned multiple times about uh, you know all the past history of sheila uh but i wanted to be open to viewing it uh, from finn's, finn's perspective yeah, and for me, for me, no, they've they've been fun to play. I mean, seamless. It, it hasn't been. I mean, the hardest thing for me is is not not uh, you know having Tanner 
you know, get upset with me or anything like that is having his wife slap me so many times. So, so that's what I'm dealing with. Okay. It's like, why can't my sister, why can't my daughter-in-law just love me for who I am now? That's all I'm saying. So you've been slapped like six times now. I think, I think every time. <laughs> She's oh. at least twice. So how are those scenes to do actually? Um, you know, they're, they're, it, all scenes are, are great for me. I, I love everything that, that we do. And, and Tanner, um, you know, the way that he's been playing the vulnerability has been great. It can't be that easy when you've got, you know, one part of you that really wants to get to know your birth mother and the other part that doesn't want to upset your, your new bride. So, um, yeah, I, you know, great. Slap me. Go ahead. You know, I can take it. I can take it with the best of it, Michael. You know that. I can take oh, all yeah. kinds of I think, stuff. I think you relished it a little bit, Kimberly. And I <laughs> get into this stuff. I mean, that's classic. No. Stuff. No. That's when, I'm, slap. when I'm lying on the floor and my son calls me mother, that was like, yeah, baby, that's it. Boom. Got him. So the looks when they say, Kimberly, we're going to come in for looks, snarl, smile, look devious, look evil. And of course, we as the audience have the music playing underneath it to really bring it to full yeah. cafe mode, right? Because we talked right. about misery being a basis of this, right? right. So is it, is it fun for you to do that or hard or ridiculous when you have to like, okay, we're going to do this look now, Kimberlyn, and you know, you have to give the look to scare us? No, it's okay because, you know, it's, it's, it's easy to react to, to what Steffi is saying because it doesn't make me happy. Does it, it doesn't make Sheila's character. It doesn't make my character Sheila happy is what I should say, because I, I adore Jacqueline. And, um, you know, it, it's like, why not let him make up his own mind for God's sakes? He's a grown man. Let him get to know me and make his own decisions. But Steffi is very much like her grandmother, Stephanie, if you think about it. As a matter of fact, if you laid one face over the other, you could hear the same voice. So, uh, my poor baby boy, he's got, he's You've got- You've been down this road of, before, huh? Yeah, I've been down this road before. Right. Exactly, exactly. What do, you, what do you both, Tanner, think about how Jacqueline has been in the scenes too with, you've been kind of a, you've stood there and watched these two go at it and you're watching the scenes unfold. What do you think about watching Jacqueline versus Kimberlyn in these, in these scenes? Uh, oh, it's, it's awesome to be, I mean, it's troubling for Finn. I mean, he's in this, this push pull. I mean, he's getting pulled both ways at, 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 you know, at one time more than the other time back and forth. Um, but it's, it's been really fun for an actor to watch two powerhouse characters and actors really have two strong points of view going at each other. I mean, it's, it's fun to watch those two <laughs> tangle. <laughs> Kimberly, you haven't worked with Jackie quite like this before, you know, this is, you know, this is your new no. network. No, um, this is the first time I've, I've really been involved with scenes like this with, with Jacqueline. You know, the last time, um, I mean, there was one time when, when she shot me and Eric begged me not to go to the police, remember, to turn her in. So her, her memory is very selective, I might say, <laughs> but I am so blessed to be, to be working um, opposite her. She's, she is a powerhouse, like Tanner just said, and and our scenes together, I, I think, are, are showing everybody, you know, where, where this is going to go. Tanner, you came into the show, and at the time you came in, you know, we were the love interest with Stuffy, and we saw her go through her addiction storyline and everything with that. And then they finally gave you the backstory of your, you know, your parents, yeah. all of that. Do you feel like more anchored into the show now that they built, you know, they brought Kimberlyn in, they've got Ted King in, they had you know, at least, you know, everybody was brought in to, like, to buffer up your... Yeah, yeah, I mean, it just gives me more juice, you know, so, um, yeah, it was nice to, to see which, which way they were going to go, because, you know, a long time, it was, you know, it's always all about supporting um, uh, Steffi and, and, and being a husband, but now, yeah, I have so much more to play with, and, and more to pull from, and, and the more experiences, and the more, you know, drama I have through the show, it's just, it just keeps getting better and better. You know, everyone's worried that she's going to, Sheila has a pension for kidnapping babies and things like that. So, you know. Heard that. Yeah, I've heard that though. But my mom has changed. Okay, guys, my mom is different. All right. Rehabilitation, guys. She's different. And you know what? 
she'd never steal her own grandson, <laughs> only somebody else's. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> Okay. What if they might they might need me to babysit sometime, Michael? Okay, this yeah. is what I'm thinking. That, that's what I would say. I, I I'm a new father. I'm like, we need all the help we could get around here. I mean, what's exactly. one more? I've Just been to that house. Have you seen the mess? One more date night a week for mom and dad. I think this is a, a good yeah, thing. Exactly. There's gonna be a day where he can't find a babysitter, and it's gonna he's gonna be stuck. And <laughs> they don't like this definition. And the wrong people. Oh, my mom. Them. Maybe she can come. <laughs> So, you know, Kimberly, coming back this time, what are your hopes for Sheila this time? You know, you came back for an arc before on b, &B. You, you left the show, now you're back. What are your hopes that you get to pull off or play this time? You know, it's one of those things, whenever I do come back to play Sheila, I'm always so excited, but I... I always kind of know in the back of my mind how how bad are they going to make her before she has to go again and i'm really having such a great time working with these two you know incredible young actors and you know some other things that might be coming up and that's all i'm going to say but um i i hope it lasts for a while i really do last time i left the show remember she had turned a leaf and she was she was becoming a better person and she came back to the show that same person, but Steffi and the Foresters are, are never gonna let her be. They're never gonna let her just be the person she is today. And when they push those buttons appropriately, the old Sheila definitely surfaces. There's no doubt about it. And she still is doing desperate things just to be loved by, by the people she loves. So, you know, fainting and, and doing all of that and, and being in the hospital, it wasn't to hurt Tanner. It was to be closer to, to Tanner's character, Finn. And um, once again, if Steffi would have just allowed Sheila to see her son and just say hi to her grandson and, and just gently, you know, <laughs> just maybe lunch once a, once a week to start. I'm not, I'm not greedy. Okay. Okay. Let's just say Thanksgiving or Christmas. Just please let me, let me see my son and my grandson. And uh, I just hope it, it, it lasts for a while this time, Michael. Yeah. You realize what you're dealing with, Tana, right? That Sheila. I, oh yeah. I'm on board. I just think, I think I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I enjoy these antics. I think it's always fun to see what the heck Sheila's going to pull next. I mean, I'm reading these scripts. Exactly. <laughs> You faint, and then I whoa, whoa she, you will go the extra mile. I'm this is amazing, and you're worth it. You're worth it, baby. <laughs> and now we have Diamond White Paris is into Finn, so we've got that building and building here too. So how do you feel about that relationship, Tanner, Finn and Paris's relationship, and how does he see it at this point? Well, I think it's it's been really nice for him to have someone to confide in. Uh, that's that's doesn't have this you know, guttural reaction that you know Steffi would you know normally you'd go to your significant other and talk things out but he has a hard time you know being able to do that with past circumstances understandably um, so I think it's been really nice for him to bond uh, Paris has had some similar uh, experiences uh, with her parents and so I think it's a great thing as far as you know going the extra <laughs> deep dive into the relationship I don't know if he's necessarily quite aware of that yet he's so involved and, and focused on um, the issue with Sheila and, and, and Steffi that he might be sending signals that he's not quite been sure he's been you know been yeah you gotta be careful because you know sure it's been off a lot and That's then we have Sheila and and Paris teaming up and then you're going to be in is that what you think okay okay I, can, uh, no? I yeah. think you know this this happens in soap operas and that's the fun of it is uh, i mean with the writers being able to have so many and finn being uh, such an open character with it with his storyline and not having ties that well he would never do that because before that happened the writers and it's been really fun to watch them be able to just let the reins go and you know there's so many different directions that we can go with these storylines it's been really fun yeah do you think kimberlyn that they would ever and this is for both of you actually do you think they would ever write in that because sheila's got I don't know if you, what do you call it? Psychopathic tenant? Like, what would you call her issues? <laughs> I mean, 
Chris misunderstood. <laughs> that There's all nothing all psychopathic all. about her at all. She simply Not misunderstood. All. So it could rub, in other words, there could be a gene, like maybe, maybe Finn has a bad genetic gene in him and he's gonna be a little I mean, like, yeah, I mean, there's, there's you never that, know, you never, never know. know. Where and go. that's what's so great about, um, and I've always said this is, you know, it's really cool to come in and, and play a historical character, but I've really relished in this opportunity to play a, a new character that we can really just, you know, we can go anywhere we want to. What's it like for both of you working with opposite Kent King in scenes? Because he's another vet in soaps and came into this storyline so yeah, ted has been ted was ted has been amazing um another 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 really quick meet and greet and hi dad how are you doing and and it just shows like casting and 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 the producers and everybody who brings everyone to the show everyone really molds into an amazing family and uh that's what makes it easy for us it's not you know a, so much as a coincidence that everyone gets along well and everyone, i think he's you know, they do a pretty good vetting job of bringing good people and talented people to the show to make this, you know, because we work so fast, make it seamless. And Kimberly, yeah, obviously blackmailing him. Sheila's blackmailing Jack. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I may be blackmailing him, but if you think about it, he he basically, you know, held held things over my head for for years, for you know, his entire life or Finn's entire life. So what gives him the right to do that? And what, why should I remain silent um, when I, I really just want to get to know my son? It's been long enough. He had his time. I gave him what he wanted because he told me what a horrible person I was and how unfit I was. And I was in love with him and I believed it at the time. So I gave my son up for he and, and Lee to, to raise and it's my turn now. Yeah, they did a wonderful job. He's a he's a phenomenal young man and, and a brilliant doctor and handsome and, and married to a forester. Hmm. That was always at the top of what that was always at the top of one of my checklists, as you know. Yeah. And now I have a baby grandson that is also a forester. So he, you know, Finn achieved everything quite easily. That I, that I wish I could have. And at one point I could have if it weren't for Stephanie Forrester. You know, nobody wanted Eric until Sheila wanted Eric. And then, um, you know, all, all the same things, like I said, you'll never be a part of our family. You will never have him. You will never this, that, and the other. Like you could look at Stephanie's face and see Steffi's face with the exact same things that they're saying. So um, yeah, I, I mean, working with Ted is awesome. It's awesome and very easy to do scenes with him. He's incredibly prepared, like, like Tanner just said. He's very, very professional. And um, it, it was a great dynamic. And where it goes from here, you know, we're, we're both you know, kind of waiting to see. But uh, in my mindset, as I prepare for my scenes and what I'm going to do, it's all about the people that I love and, and how I really want to be a part of their life. And I've never had that opportunity and I'm just hoping that I can have it now. Uh, do you have the worst crime that you feel that Sheila's ever committed? Do you, what's on the top of your top two? I think the worst crime I ever committed was cutting a birthmark off of a baby that wasn't mine to, to, oh, to say that it was, to say that, that, to say that it was mine. Mom, earmuffs, you gotta tell us. I don't know that stop, yet, stop, okay? Stop. You can't, come on. You're still an angel in my eyes, okay? You're just sit there do, doing this, la, 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 just for a minute, okay? But that, but that was, that yeah. was, that was probably the worst one in my mind. And uh, that's one where Ed Scott even said, Kimberly, you might wanna hang low at home for the next couple of weeks because we're getting some pretty angry people. And it's like, well, thanks for giving me that role. Okay, good enough. Good storyline, but it, it was it was impactful and and once again sh showing she would do absolutely anything to get somebody that she loved, and at that time it was Scott. And was what it was putting her mother's head in the oven one? <laughs> well, I yes, just you're my nice. Got to tell me this. I just I just wanted her to check the pilot light. That's all. <laughs> That's what you're dealing with, okay? I was having a pilot light issue, okay? Tanner, what? You know, how has it been stepping into this 
whole daytime realm, you know, being, you know, a leading man on the show and all that, is it, is it hard to do those kind of stuff? Or do you feel pressure? Uh, you know, working with Jackie or are you just like, oh, cool. Really, yeah, we'll see that. Like I just, like I said before, luckily the, everyone is really amazing here. And, and uh, yeah, Jackie has really been my North star in this, this whole thing. And I, I mean, I came in under unusual circumstances to begin with, with being, I've only ever worked under, you know, COVID, which we remember those, you know, those scenes that were eight feet apart, but shot, you know, very close. And so I think everyone was a little thrown and trying to find their feet and like what this was. So it, I was welcomed in the team that way a lot, a lot easier. So that might've helped a little bit with it, but I've had a, an amazing time here. Um, I love coming to work every day and, uh, and playing with everybody. It's been, it's been really fun. And your wife, Kayla, was on b and Yeah. So does she, does she, is she watching? Yeah, yeah, of course. I, and her too, it was nice to like, when I first started, she was able to, you know, some of the like little things of cameras moving and she's like, just know like the camera two will slide in the middle. I'm like, oh, they move in the, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, cause they really do here. They throw you in and, and we shoot so fast that uh, you got to find your footing quickly. So she was able to help out and give me a few tips and tricks along the way. Okay, and did she know Sheila Carter? Yeah, oh, yes, yeah. She, I think, was Kayla on the show when you were? I'm not sure. If she sure. Was. I, I, think so. I mean, everyone knows Sheila Carter, though. I mean, that's it's I not. Think a... came, I think she came on right was as I was leaving. Oh, yeah. But um, you, you know, a little in reference to what what Tanner just said, though, a lot of people don't even realize that a soap opera shoots in one to two days. What what a regular show will take you know, 10 to 14 days, and we do it every single day. The amount of dialogue that we have is, is unbelievable. I remember our first scenes together. It was monologue after monologue after monologue. And Tanner was just, well, nothing like throwing us right into the fire. But it was, you know, it's, it's a challenge and it's, it's fun. It's fun when you pull it off. It really is. Have you guys paid attention to kind of what the fans say on social media about the characters? Are you like engaging with them at all about uh, what are they saying to you? Do you? Oh they... yeah, I love talking to the fans on social media as as, as much as I can. They, the fan base is so uh, amazing and loyal, and um, yeah, it's always great to be able to talk to everybody and reach out and, and and see what's going on. I wish we could do more in person stuff because I've always that's you know the digital stuff has only been what I've been able to to. Right you know talk to with everybody so i'm really excited for you know hopefully we all get through this together and uh and are able to meet some fans up you know up close in person it's really fun yeah and really the fans, yeah they've been awesome michael they really have everybody is is just uh so excited to have me back and i'm i'm right there with them i'm, I'm excited to be here as well and the, the ones that that are upset about me in, interfering with Steffi and Finn, even they say in their in their responses to me, ah, oh, gosh, I'm so upset at you for for you know causing trouble between Steffi and Finn, but we're so happy that you're here and and that we have you back. You're bringing some spice to the show again. Do you guys not have a moment though when you're doing these scenes, and I'm particularly at the wedding after after Finn brings Sheila in and goes. Oh look! Here I found somebody. It was the look. It was in the shadows. They're all like, uh, you know. And then everybody from Brooke to Eric to everybody goes at Sheila and spews the stuff. And you're like, taking. Did you guys not laugh? It had to be funny. And so, oh. how did you get through the door thing? Like, oh, here's my mom. And and then. <laughs> And then I was I was just I upset that, that that Brooke was breaking good crystal. Okay, yeah, I thought too. It's like any any day that we had. I think we had the slap that day too. We had a you know champagne glass drop. Yes, exactly. Sheila, 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 a slap. I'm like, yes, this is this is classic was, soap opera. Well, that's so because they weren't slapping you. <laughs> <laughs> true. Oh, true, true. There is that. But when they were saying all those things to you, Kimberlyn, they're like, you shot my mother, you shot my mother, you shot this, you did this. And you're just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. did you, not? No, you, you know, what, you know, what was really funny for me is when, and it wasn't funny. I mean, I had to stand there and I had to take it. My character had to stand there and take it. But um, I, I actually asked them to open the boom so that I could talk to Tony, who was directing. I said, Tony, I just have this urge to smile at Stephanie's portrait, at Stephanie's portrait, 
during this whole thing. And, and he went with it and said, absolutely. And so those little glances up to, to Stephanie, it was like, that's right. That's right. I'm standing in your house with my son and uh, you're not here. You're not here to protect them anymore. So look Tanner, out. Yeah. So Tanner, what do you want to see happen for him? Do you think you want him to do you think he's going to have an awakening that, oh boy, I can't let my mother into my life? Or do you think he's just going to keep trying to make this work? No, I mean, the, yeah, I think he's going to try and keep making this work in the sense of, from his perspective, again, he's a doctor, he believes in rehabilitation and, and second chances as, you know, he's went through a lot with, with Steffi, you know, it, through her addiction and, and um let's not forget she slept with liam and we had a bit of a pregnancy mix up oh, yeah. you know so oh yeah that and you know so <laughs> it's a little bit hypocritical for him to to not look at his mother in that way too and and why not why can't he have some sort of relationship that doesn't involve steffi and in, in the grant and in, in in her grandson my son hayes you know why can't there be a separate part that he sees her periodically and and, and i still think he's wanting to you know, fulfill that, that need and that void that he's had for a really long time. And of course, Steffi's <laughs> very wary. Um, so he's still, he's still walking that, you know, tightrope. Does he, do you think he will always be jealous of Liam? I don't think he's jealous of Liam at all. I think, I, I think it's more of a, uh, I don't want to say a rivalry, but he, he was a bit of a abuser might be a strong word but he he really did work these two women back and forth for a lot of time for for a long time and and caused Steffi a lot of distress so much so she was you know using pills to cope with her emotional pain and I think he sees Liam as as, as a threat and again understanding that the, we want to have a big harmonious family but will Liam and Finn ever be the best of buddies I not on not he, anytime soon I don't think worried about pills and Sheila and Steffi, because, you know, Sheila's done some pretty horrible things. So mm -hmm. I'm concerned with pills in Sheila's hands landing in Steffi's something. <laughs> I like the way your mind works, man. You screw things can go a lot of different ways. I know Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I'd, I'd first like to say that, you know, talking about talking about Finn and, and Liam, I, I know my son personally would never do anything like that because he's a, he's a wonderful, wonderful young man with with just incredible disposition and and moral moral compass. Um, that being said, um, yeah, Steffi did have an issue, didn't she? Huh? Yeah. Thanks, sir. Something for Mama to think about, don't you think? <laughs> well, I I can't wait to see more of this, you guys. I have I love Kimberlyn. Um, we've known each other for a very long time, and she always goes a hundred percent in with her work and the character she plays. And you can see Tanner by how she talks about it. She 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 can defend the actions of this character oh, cool. so well. <laughs> My all baby, Michael. It's all perspective. It's all perspective. <laughs> and you're doing a great job. I want to say, you know, coming into the show and holding your own and being with all of these, you know, titans, these female titans, and and doing the work. So I hope you're enjoying the ride that you're having. On Very the show. much. I appreciate that. Yeah. All right, guys. So everybody, keep watching the Bold and the Beautiful weekdays on CBS for more of the Sheila Finn, Steffi Paris, and who knows who else drama. <laughs> Have a great day. Thank you guys so much for taking the time. Good Thanks, to see you. Michael. Thank Pleasure. you, Michael. Bye-bye. <laughs>